Well, here I am back in the office. Um, got some work to do this morning. Uh, I'm going to eat uh, a late lunch. It's actually after it's almost 11 o'clock now. I'm still just working on my coffee. Got up late today, actually. So, um, but I have some work to do. Slip for my coffee. I know people don't like that, but it is what it is. And um, yeah, and you know, I was, I'm really surprised by all the negative comments I got lately. Wow, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I think I must be doing something right. It's because they say when you're getting a lot of those comments that that's when things are happening. So, <laughs> so keep them coming, I guess. Yeah, I don't really care. So, yeah, no, no skin off my nose, you know, good or bad. Um, it works for me. It helps, uh, you know, doing a ketogenic lifestyle, low carb lifestyle works for me. It keeps me in good shape it keeps me fit makes me feel good you guys can criticize it all you want you can criticize my my style of uh, video or whatever that's up to you but uh, you know what it is what it is and um, yeah you know and there is some changes coming to the channel um, you know I, I'm doing some side stuff and uh, I think I might start showing some of that or at least some of the events around it so yeah um, so some minor changes come into the channel. Nothing, nothing huge. Um, and hopefully uh, you you will uh, you know, subscribe to the channel and like it. So um, basically, all I'm trying to do is teach people how to live healthy. And for me, you know, I'm almost 66 years old. And uh, back, I don't know, almost seven years ago now, um, my doctor told me that I needed to go and lose a bunch of weight because I was type 2 diabetic and high blood pressure and that I needed to start taking some medication and then that was not the way I wanted to, to go into my old age and he's the one, my doctor was the one that suggested I start doing keto and I said well, I'll give it a try um, I gave it a try, I found that it was pretty easy for me uh, at least, you know, the way I do it, I thought it was pretty easy. Um, I'm a pretty simple guy and like to eat simple foods, not real complex. Um, do like to do a little bit of cooking. Uh, so, yeah, I sort of kind of adapted over and learned how to do a lot of stuff. And, yeah, I think it's been, uh, it's been good for me. I've lost about 60, 65 pounds right now. I'm probably closer to the 60 mark, but um, I weighed myself today. I hadn't lost or gained any weight, so... Um, yeah, so hang around and I'm going to show you what I'm going to eat in a day. I figured that's better than me telling you and talking to you and all that other crap. So, um, yeah, so hang out and I'm going to show you what we're going to eat today. And, uh, this is what pretty much one of my typical days look like. All right, so here's breakfast. These are the muffins that we made the other day. Um, that and an avocado. Um, and that's breakfast today. Um. Uh, Good healthy fats and uh, some good protein from the eggs. So yeah, good breakfast. All right, just some quick to get the blood flowing. I have not been doing a ton of workout, so I've been kind of trying to grab some weights, just throw them around a little bit, just to try to get my body moving again, get used to the exercising. Um, I'm not gonna show you the whole workout or everything, but and it is pretty tight in here. So I do have to move things around when I'm working out. Um, so, you know, just, uh, and it's a good way just to kind of get the body started, right? Uh, you know, you don't want to go at it, for me anyway, at my age, I don't want to go at it too hard, hurt myself. Um, and then, uh, so I've been kind of doing this for the past week. Coming in, spending 15, 20 minutes, just doing some of the exercises, some lunges, um, different things every day, trying to get different parts of the body moving again, getting used to the workouts. Uh, you know, hopefully, uh, over the course of the next couple of weeks, I'll get into the workouts a little bit more. I figure for a guy that's almost 66, doing okay, you know? Um, 
Using some light weights just to get started, get going. And then over time, I'll start increasing the weights. All right. That's just kind of one of the things that I do have my bench over here. I will move it out here. Um, and I'll use that for some other uh, other exercises. I'm not going to go through, like I say, the whole thing here today. I just wanted to kind of just say get my body moving. Um, you know, we've been trying to go out and walk in the evening when the sun gets starts setting. Uh, just because it's a little cooler then and the sun's not shining. Um, yeah, so that's working out. Anyway, I'm going to keep going and uh, get your body moving. Hey, it's been a while since we've done a grocery haul, so um, I'm just going to kind of go through real quick like what we got. Um, we actually went to Aldi's. Um, this is probably, the, I think, the second time in my life that I've ever been to Aldi's. Um, so we picked up a few things there. Um, and we went there for one main reason. is because they had some ground beef on sale. Um, so that's what we went there for. Um, I'm going to go through it, and I'm going to say my wife's not keto. So we got some things for her that's not keto. And I'm going to just start off with saying that So she, she got some of these um, little cuties just so that everybody knows. And you see them out here. She eats them, um, not necessarily for me. We also got some sweet peppers. We do, I like these, I like to put these in anything from tacos to all kinds of foods. I, I put them in my, uh, um, in my omelets in the morning and stuff like that when we do that, or my wife does. Um, we got some avocados to start off with. Um, got some white onions, uh, sweet onions. And she also got some um, some of the Romano tomatoes, I have four of them on here. Um, and then she got some carrots as well. And then we got some minced garlic on here. Um, then I got some heavy cream, um, just because I want to make some, I, got, I want to make some keto chow with the heavy cream as well as I have a recipe that I want to make. Uh, and this has got some stuff for that. Um, and to go along with that, with that recipe, I also have some cream cheese. We picked up two of them. So we're going to make some cream cheese. Uh, so we're going to make like a cheesecake. I um, want to make some stuff that we don't have to bake because it's hot. So this will make a nice, make it, stick it in the refrigerator. And then it'll make a nice treat for us to have during the week or on the weekend or whatever. Um, you know, when you're retired, it kind of all falls into one. We did try, um, we did buy some... Keto bread. This is the heart. The the, the rolls. I'm gonna try them. I, I you know, what the heck. Um, I've been trying some of the other ones. This is the keto friendly white bread. So uh, I am gonna try those as well. You know, again, they have 10 total carbs in them. Um, just so you know, then they have 10 dietary fiber. But I'm gonna just see how they react and see how it goes and see how it affects my body. Um, they're pretty small loaves, so we got two of them. And they're not too expensive either. They're uh, $3.99 for one of the little loaves. So, at that, we'll try them. Um, got some green beans. A couple of frozen green beans. We've got some tilapia. Two pounds of tilapia because it was a really good deal. Um, I know people are going to say, oh, tilapia is a garbage fish. You know what? Tilapia is at today's prices and today, the way things are today, you buy what you can afford and don't listen to anybody else. Um, we got some pepper back jack cheese to put on sandwiches, to put on stuff. I like the spiciness of it. And also bought some, uh, this is the oven classic turkey breast as well. Two packages of that because we do like to, uh, to throw it into stuff um, and make stuff with it. And I did get four egg life wraps. They actually have the egg life wraps there for $4.49. It's the cheapest that I've seen it. So we got four of them. We'll put one in the refrigerator and freeze the other three. Uh, and, but it's it's a dollar cheaper than anywhere else I've seen, so it's a good deal just to go out and get the egg life wraps. I know somebody else told me they didn't like the egg life wraps. I love the egg life wraps. I'm gonna continue to eat them. Um, you know, I think the the best thing is probably to learn to make them yourself if you can. Um, but yeah, uh, and then uh, the 80/20 ground beef. 
we got that that was 379 a pound um, it's been a while since I've seen it under four dollars a pound sometime I've seen a couple places go 399 a pound but this is 379 a pound um, this is uh, two and a half pounds and we got two of them so uh, that's good so we'll take one of the packages we'll use it up real quick like uh, for dinner probably tonight and then the other one we're gonna freeze and uh, we'll have some other later time uh, we also got some corned beef uh, got some chicken breast because I use this one I'm making like the chicken crusted pizza I'll also put it on a salad or something like that I didn't have very good spinach there so I didn't get the spinach um, my wife got some of the, um, the squeezable mayonnaise that she likes um, and then we got some lemon juice to go in a bunch of different stuff and then of course last but not least just to stay clean we got some Tide um, this was on in the clearance aisle so it was a lot cheaper than the other one that was in the regular aisle so so hey quick grocery haul um, I was pretty happy with it all this for uh, it was right around 100 bucks um, so that was pretty good I thought so um, we'll get a few meals out of it and that's our week's worth of groceries all right, stick around. Let's see what we're going to do with it. So we're using our little burger maker. We're making some burgers. Um, got two layers of them right here. So um, you take it and you fill it. Squish it down. Now we did, we put mushrooms in these and... Um, cheese in them so they so it'll be interesting to see how they they come out it'll add a lot of flavor and a lot of taste to them but we got uh, I think eight burgers yeah. and they're pretty good pretty thick how many pounds was that? that was two and a half pounds so each one of those burgers is a quarter of a pound a little more than a quarter of a pound so all right we'll show you so cooking them up All right, so we're cooking on our Ninja Foodie Grill um, out in our patio. Uh, so it's warm out, get out of the sun. There's the burger is cooking up. I'll we'll show you a little bit. We're gonna flip them here in a minute. And we have four on there and four more to go. All right, here's the second batch going on. First ones are done, ready to go. All right. I think it's burger time. We're going to start munching on these ones while these ones are still cooking. Alright, so we're going to try out those uh, keto buns from uh, from Aldi's today. Uh, just see how I feel, see how I feel in the morning. Um, and then I got some Primal Kitchen ketchup that I use, the unsweetened ketchup. And then we're going to drink a uh, <clears throat> Powerade Zero that we had gotten the other day. Um, so zero sugar, zero calories. Um, but that's what we're having for dinner. All right. Just a little dab will do you. There goes the ketchup. There goes the buns. Nice cheesy cheeseburger. Mm. Really, really good.